Hello, my name is Scott and in today's video I'm going to be doing a What's in My Camera Bag 2022 edition. Let's jump straight into it. Starting off with the main body I use for my photography is the Canon 600D. It's an old camera, it goes for about £150 second hand. Um, it's discontinued obviously because it's, it's so old but for photography um, it actually does quite a good job and does everything I need to. Video wise, I've, well I've done a whole video discussing on why I think the Canon 600D is good or bad in 2022 but video wise there's no autofocus it's only manual focus so it, it can become a bit of a problem if you want to vlog with it however sit down shots like this where I'm sitting at a desk I'm not moving the camera I can you know get the focus right and then not really move around so it doesn't have to track me it is, does the job and this is what I'm recording on and taking all my uh, photos with the lens I have on the Canon 600D right now is a 17 to 40 millimeter f4. Um, all my lenses go down to f4. I think one's f5.6. I don't use it too much, um, but I am going to try and get a low aperture uh, lens soon so I can get nice focus shots and do some low light photography. Here is probably my most used lens when it comes to photography. Uh, street photography primarily is what I kind of do. I've done little bits of sports photography before. My, my most experience in street photography, I'd love to do some, some more stuff, some uh, client work and stuff. I haven't really got much experience in that part yet. I've done some glass work, which uh, my old job, I got some experience with a photographer and he kind of showed and helped me. And I'll throw some work up on the screen right now. Um, but I've done that for a wee while. Uh, I was getting paid and I was getting taught, so it was very good. Uh, it's a very good experience. So this year is a 55 to 250, I don't think I told you, but um, on the crop, that is a much longer focal length. I can't remember, it's a 1.6, 1.7 crop I have on this camera right now. So that makes this focal length even more uh, zoomed in. Now the lens I told you about that I don't really use as much is the 38 to 76 millimeter. Um, I believe it's f5.6. Um, I don't use it too often, mainly because it's like, it's not, I mean, you know what, next shoot photography video I'll challenge myself, I'll use this lens, um, it's a bit of a higher f stop, I think it's f5.6, um, so not quite the f4 this one or this one uses, um, and it, I don't know, I used it when I first got the camera, as I didn't have the 55-250, to but it is kind of a kind of mid-range um, mid focal length let's just say lens 38 to 76 this is 17 to 40 and this is 55 to 250 so it's kind of the best of both worlds with these two lenses um but i feel that if i want long i just go that one if i want close i go that one so memory cards um right now i'll oh i don't know is it a sick no i'll throw up the memory card i'm shooting this video on um, I, this is my best memory card, the, the one I use mainly, and I know, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but <laughs> what I do is to save buying new memory cards, I just put everything on that memory card onto my hard drive or SSD on my PC, my desktop PC or my laptop sometimes when I don't have the desktop, um, and then I just delete everything on that card and then put it back in the camera and keep going. But here, uh, this is the card I got the camera with 16 gigabyte SanDisk 80 megabytes per second it's 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 all right nothing special just cheap cards you know I don't really use anything I don't you do anything sorry that would require a super fast card like sports photography you know you need that fast read and write times and stuff but what I do isn't really anything too demanding this here is a very useful SD card where you put the micro SD into here and then you can put this into the normal SD slot near this, which, you know, I'm terrible with names. But basically this it goes from SD into the laptop, desktop, whatever, via USB. Also in here I have some micro um, SD cards. That is mainly for when I'm using the action camera. I'll use this. Um, as it fits in there. This is 4 gigabyte, the other one's 16 gigabyte. I think I have either another 16 gigabyte or a 32 gig in the actual camera right now, uh, but I'll get onto that in a minute. I've just got it in a 
JJC case. I got this thing last Christmas or something for family. Um, keeps your cards nice and safe and protected. This here is the Bear Grylls action camera. Um, I done a, a video when I got it, a little unboxing thing, and since then I can tell you it's not that great an action camera. It's a good budget option, but at that point, save a few hundred and get a GoPro. That's definitely what I'm going to do now. It's done me for the time I've had it, but I kind of regret not kind of saving that money and just putting it towards a, a better GoPro camera. SD card, like I said, I'd say earlier, this is another 16 gig um, micro SD card. And I feel like the batteries in, from this thing, it dies quite fast. Uh, it doesn't last the longest. Um, the battery will go. And then I think one of my batteries is actually a bit faulty. Uh, sometimes it says it's charged and then it dies on me but in here you've got the standard kind of stuff waterproof kind of case you know that you get on the and pretty much every action camera maybe not the gopros nowadays because they're actually waterproof themselves um, and then this is like another kind of attachment where you can put stuff through it and stuff like that you know like your standard kind of things you'd expect in an action camera case however this mini tripod slash Stick, the vlogging stick, what do you call it, a vlogging stick or something? That comes with it, um, but what doesn't come with it, an attachment I've actually bought separately, one second, is this. Now this is a, just an action cam, chest mount, you don't need the official GoPro one, you don't need any branded one, literally just, this clips in, this piece, clips in, to, oh god, now it's not going to do it into that you put the camera you put the camera into this make sure the buttons are on the right side the gopros already have this all built into the thing basically these line up and then this part threads through it all and then just ties it together like so now here is something i carry with me in my camera bag that I don't specifically use. Uh, this is what I took my first photos of the Highland Cows on. Um, haven't used it since, I won't lie. And uh, I take it in my bag with me, I don't know, just because it's a camera I can use. If my other camera dies, it's a backup, I guess, I can use it, whatever. I could do some cheap photography with this. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments down below. No flip screen or anything pretty basic. I think, I don't think it's, 20.4 megapixels, so it's not even that terrible. Yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see me do some street photography uh, POV with this. So this lav mic um, is what the whole video has been recorded through. Let me know uh, what you guys think of the audio. Um, it wasn't that expensive, but not cheap. I think it's kind of, I believe, 30 to 50 kind of pounds. I'll throw an Amazon link in the description if you guys would like to pick it up. Um, I'm gonna try and make that an affiliate link, so if you guys do uh, click on that, it possibly it might um, help me out a little bit, but I don't know, I'll see if I can, can uh, try and get that set up. So what it does is it actually plugs into your phone um, via the audio jack, but right now I have it set up. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see here, uh, I've got it set up, so it's plugging into a kind of 3.5 mil to a USB type C into my laptop, um, so let me know what you kind of think of the sound quality right now. Um, it probably could just go into the headphone jack. I'm not sure. I've not tried it yet. Just because I normally, when I'm shooting my POVs, I just plug it into my phone. And then I use the standard voice recorder on your phone to then record that using the mic. Now, tripods. I recently uh, just got a, a new tripod for Christmas. But before that, my first tripod was an Amazon's, Amazon Basics tripod, which I now have in Edinburgh. Um, holding my light up when I'm at my desk streaming I have the light on my face just behind the desk not really moving much I don't take it out or anything but this tripod I'm recording on right now uh, used to be my go-to tripod when I go out or um, I do regret not taking it one time I went up to one of the hills um, one of the hills at Arthur's seat with some photography people a little club thing that was that was going on and I do regret not taking my tripod because as I said my, my lenses aren't that great in the low light neither is the camera ISO over 1.6k and it like it kind of gets all noisy and grainy anyway 
Um, this tripod, very stable, sturdy, I'll throw it in the description as well. However, this one I got that is holding up the, the webcam um, is much higher, uh, taller and pretty much a similar design. Um, apart from this is clips and this one is a screw one. Um, but yeah, both look like solid tripods, budget friendly and uh, I would recommend them. Now, I don't take this everywhere with me, let's say from going for street photography, I won't take it, I won't take it, but if I'm traveling, I will put this in my camera bag, and that is the laptop I'm recording off of right now. It is the Acer Aspire 5. I could throw some specs up on the screen right now if you guys like. It's not the most powerful, like say if I'm doing heavy animation or heavy video editing, it wouldn't do great. But for basic stuff like, I don't know, just like me recording this video, it does that. It does the job for that. I can live stream some things off of it. Maybe not gaming, but I live streamed, recorded in 720p, both live streaming and recording in 720p and doing my graphic design. 365 days of daily posters. I didn't quite make the, the whole 365 days, but anyway, um, I done that for a few times and it crashed a couple of times, but apart from that, you know, that's pretty heavy stuff, you know, live streaming, live streaming and recording in 720p 60 um, was quite demanding and it only crashed a couple of times. So for a laptop around 300, I say it does a good job. So some other things that I, I carry with me, sunglasses, pretty simple in case it's sunny, I'll throw them on, a mask for during COVID, batteries for my DS or Canon 600D, and then Allen key and stuff that I think came with the, the Swiss plate um, for my back backpack strap. Just a pen, uh, a battery bank, charger head in case I need to plug anything into a wall socket. Um, and then this is a cable of many that I, I'm not showing, I'm not gonna bother showing everything in the camera bag because it's literally just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. But I'm pretty sure this charge is the GoPro. And right now, a tip I have with the Canon 600D because it doesn't have autofocus um, when you're recording, you can still press the shutter down and it'll autofocus and then you record. So I've literally just got um, a remote shutter plugged into the side of the camera and then when I sit down, I, I press the shutter so it autofocuses, then I hit record and then I'm in focus for the whole video because I don't really move around much. Um, but that's pretty much it actually. While I'm doing camera bag, I may as well do what's in my pockets. Now because I'm at home, my pockets are empty, so I shall grab everything I would normally have with me in my pockets. So starting off, just some lip balm, lip repair O'Keeffe's. It does the job and uh, really well actually. This is the only one that worked for me when I was on uh, some medication that kind of tried to get rid of my acne. It dries up. Anyway, fills up the skin and um, I had some dry lips for a long period. Still use it. I don't know. I just get cracked lips especially this time of year so uh does a job very well and uh kind of would recommend i guess <laughs> next some samsung earbuds i think this is the buds 2 or something uh the buds i'll throw the name up i get mixed up wireless e earbuds samsung um kind of like them they're quite good uh wallet with various things got a bank card tesco club card high life highland card young scott card and then some college student cards and accommodation card with some cash i guess and that's about it um also the bag that i the, my, my actual camera bag uh i is one i just got found off of amazon um but i made sure that it opened i'll show some I'll show you on the screen right now but i made sure that it opened a specific way so you're not putting what would be touching your back on the ground so then your back doesn't get all muddy um i'll, I'll show you on the screen now but Apart from that, that's pretty much what is in what has been in my camera bag in 2022. Oh, also the light that I use. Um, not in my camera bag the whole time, but when I'm recording in different places. Uh, just LED panel light I find on Amazon, really. Um, but yes, I think that has been it. If there's anything else, I'll leave it in text at the end of the video or something. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Um, follow my socials. I live stream on Twitch. I do funny tweets sometimes. Not really, but um, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.